Hello, my name is Dr. Neil Goodman. I'm a board certified pediatric and adolescent medicine specialist with over 26 years of experience in treating patients and teaching nursing and medical students. I'm fellowship trained at the Fitzsimmons Army Medical Center, where I was a major in the United States Army Medical Corps for 14 years. Prior to that, I received my medical degree at the Medical College of Ohio at Toledo and my bachelor degree in microbiology and immunology at The Ohio State University. I'm a fellow of the American Academy of Pediatrics, a member of the American Academy of Anti-Aging and Medicine, and a member of the Institute of Functional Medicine. I want to thank you for being a part of this presentation. The title of my presentation is Biohacking with Nutrigenomics, a Systems Approach to Nutrigenomics, Wellness, and Aging. This may be the single most important health presentation of your life. I call it the Biohacker's Guide to Wellness and Aging. I need to make an FDA disclaimer that I do not make claims to treat, cure, diagnose, or mitigate disease. This is purely informational. As you may already be aware, nutrigenomics is the science of how food-derived and nutritional products affect our gene expression. Remember, food is more than just calories and nutrition. It also acts as a code for our body cells and our instruction set in our DNA. So let's look at all the important jobs that sirtuin proteins do for us. It's very deep. Just pay attention to how long the list is and just get some of the info. Some of the other words you may or may not recognize, not all of this is important for you to digest. Just get a feel, okay? Repair DNA damage. Removal of tags. Protect telomeres. Mitochondrial function. Autophagy or cell cleanup. Protein synthesis. Reduce stem cell depletion. Tumor suppression decrease inflammation, and finally improve insulin sensitivity. These are just a few. That's a lot, isn't it? So in essence, sirtuins are a protein that act like a buffer pad for our scratched or damaged DVD with its genetic code. They are the cellular guardian and housekeeper for us, sort of a CEO. They restore the surface, they help get rid of the noise and scratches, they restore the defects or tags and regulate how well the disc, which is our genetic information, is read. But doesn't a buffer pad need some buffing compound or polish for the pad to be effective? Well, NAD is the polish that sirtuins need. It's the cofactor that is required for sirtuins to do all of that work. NAD stands for nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide, but we'll say NAD for now on, and not NAD. NRF2 on the left is the cleanup crew. It's your cellular firefighter and sanitation department to clean up damage and put out fires and inflammation due to oxidative stress and free radical damage. NRF1 in the middle is like the energy company. It fires up the powerhouse of the cell, the mitochondria, which is in all of our cells to produce energy that's needed for life. And finally, NAD on the right, it's the cell executive officer or CEO. It tells the cells what to do. It directs, it distributes energy, it mobilizes and utilizes fats, it cleans out the debris and helps replace bad cells. It repairs our genetic material. In essence, it sort of acts like a parent. When NAD is depleted, it's like your parent is depleted. Nothing gets done around the house. The hamper doesn't get emptied and the dirty clothes pile up. Okay, I want to make a few final points before I finish. You've learned a lot, but now for the icing on the cake. If each of those things does such a good job, what happens when you take them together rather than individually? Well, NRF1 in the middle is activated 69% more with all three synergizers present than when NRF1 is used alone. NRF2 on the left is activated to levels that nobody has ever seen in the history of nutrigenomics to the tune of a whopping 1,563% above the baseline use of NRF2 alone. 
Just think of what kind of reductions of oxidative stress are occurring now. Further research studies are underway to further document this and to patent this tri-synergizer effect. And I got to tell you, I cannot wait to see that report. And finally, NAD is increased by 1,792%. I mean, shut my mouth, right? That's ridiculous. Look at the two enzymes that were the ones that were involved in the NAD salvage pathway again. That conveyor belt is running fast, not slow now. Can you imagine the effect that this will have on sirtuin levels and the other longevity genes that we need in order to have a longer health span?